Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves? Hopefully, lip sync and everything is okay with my webcam. Um, basically, I've gone into the settings. People told me not to trust the auto detect settings for Nightingale and to sort of just try and go by what I feel should be right for my graphics card. So I've done that. I've turned on DLSS, since you know I'm on a NVIDIA type sort of setup and rig. And you know what? It does look a lot better. I have put it to 30 frames per second, though, which, uh, yeah, in 1080p. The reason I've done it to 30 frames per second is my webcam is 30 frames per second. <laughs> and the game was running at 60, which could be why the lip sync was off. And as you can probably tell, my voice sounds very Barry White and poorly. That, that's got nothing to do with the game settings. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to Puck and let's see what he's got to say. Hello there, Puck. Ah, we made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here, Pop. Got my old lambsip with me on this journey, yes? This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey. Left in limbo. Not unlike you. How fitting. And thus... Here is yours to put down roots. Oh, thank you. I do like all the sounds of, like, the, um, the wildlife and the frogs. But Very beware. Nice. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. We'll be laying down those foundations, then, my friend. I do not like Stygian perils. No. Stygian perils and roustabouts are two of my worstest things. While you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds. I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Oh, okay. All right, do a little bit of exploration. I'm up for that. That's the whole reason I got this. Yes, exploration. Paramount. Oh, look. He's going to click his fingers. Boom! He's gone! Zoom! Love it. Frickin' magical. Okay. Right, okay. Reminds me of, you know, Dungeons and Dragons with the Dungeon Master and he walks behind a rock and then boom, he's gone. Frickin' love it! Frickin' eyes! Okay, right, okay. I'm gonna have these bulrushes. They're coming with me. Uh, have. Look, it didn't say I could have them a minute ago. There we go. Mine! Ha! Mine! And mine! I don't know what that was, but it looked lovely, didn't it? Okay, am I in a puddle right now? No, I'm not. No. Okay. Well, I suppose we're going to look for a place to make ourselves a, a nice little melt, makeshift shelter, aren't we? I like a view. All right. That's, an, that's quite a nice view, isn't it, of the lake? Hold on, there's some sort of strange structure over there. Let's head that way. There's a structure. Hmm. Lovely. Is it a mine shaft full of evil? I, I don't really want to build my base near to a mine shaft full of evil. There's some rocks there with diamonds growing out of them. I wonder if I pillage this land whether it respawns. Because if I do build a base near to a blinking rock with diamonds sticking out of it, I'm freaking minted. Um, I mean, it's not far anyway, is it? Really, I want a nice flat bit of land where I was. And at least I know that there's some rocks over there with diamonds sticking out of them. You know what? Let's just build let's just build my base where I was, because it was nice and freaking flat there, wasn't it? Around here somewhere. Yeah? Um it's not as flat as I remembered it to be five seconds ago. Unless I'm in the wrong place. Which Aha, uh -huh, here. There we go. We're gonna build our base right here. I think this would do us. Build. Build menu. Where are you, build menu? So we need to go over one, which is the right trigger. It's not that trigger, it's the bad, that one. Okay, estate. That's what we want. We want this. Estate Kareen. Place. And it's going to go right about... I might as well stick it near to this rock. No. I don't know whether this is in the centre of where I am or what. So let's stick that there. Let's just put it there. Okay, it's going to go there. Brilliant. Perfect. Now I need 20 rocks and a load of stone blocks. I don't know why I've just got a load of shovels. I didn't I didn't make a load. Of, oh, it looks like we've lost all the icons, people. 
Well, that makes the game a little bit freaking harder, doesn't it? Yeah, I've got a spade, mate. What do you got? I don't know. I haven't got an icon for whatever it is I should have. All right, let's go over here. Then. Let's smash this rock to shite. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Missed it. It freaking moved. Did you see that? It didn't move. That's just me being an idiot. Is it actually doing anything? I don't know. Okay. There's not like any numbers pop out of that one. Maybe my pickaxe isn't good enough to take on that sort of boulder. There we go. Aha! I think if I can smash it, it's going to come up with a green pickaxe icon. Yes! Missed it. Missed it again. Missed it again. How am I missing it? Okay. Now we've got all them. I don't know whether that's stone blocks. It says sandstone. Oh, for God's sake. There's all different types of rock. I'm going to learn this game one day, people. I'm going to learn it. Okay. I'm going to head and look this way. What about you? Can I smash you? No, you're not got a green pickaxe icon. And it doesn't tell you what type of rock it is before you smash it. So, you know, I, I'm just... Oh, there's a cabbage. I have a cabbage. Oh, you're weighed down by your inventory. Yes, I've got too many stone blocks now. Too many. Okay. Yeah. Can I automatically put a load into here? X. Okay. Oh, we've done the stone blocks. Didn't know. Stone blocks. Sand, sandstone counts as stone blocks. Brilliant. Okay, right. I need some more stones now. So stone blocks and stones are different types of stones. We're learning, people. We're learning. I guess we are. Okay, well, I have to say, this does look a lot more majestic and a lot more awesome on my PC now. Not been so bad about playing, to be fair, because at least I can enjoy the visual sights a little bit more. I need to watch it back just to see how my webcam's doing. It could be that we have to turn that off again. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll turn me off just for a minute, and then I can compare it in the one video. There we go. Let's just pop over here. And, oops, I've locked it all. And I'm disappeared. Oh. Hold on. I just disappeared as well. What the blind fudge just happened to me? I just got re-rendered. And I'm covered in mud now. Look at me. Oh, I look lovely in my mud. Okay. Um, probably not, actually. Right. Um, I'm not finding any more stones anywhere, people. I'm looking, but I'm not seeing any more stones. I'm looking round by other stones because, you know, stones, they sort of migrate together, don't they? They don't, but let's just pretend. Okay. Um, well, there's some rocks over this way, maybe. Uh, I can hear some, like, frogs or something. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Chuggy, chuggy, chug, chug. That was a little bit sort of, like, shite, wasn't it? Okay. Aha! Found you! Stones! You're coming with me! Yes, we got some rocks. Nice. Any more rocks around here to be seen by Steve? Rocks, rocks, where are you? Rocky, rocky, rock, rocks. You know what, let's just head back. Uh-oh, I hear something. It sounds nasty. We're running. We're running away. Look at me go. Like the wind. Is it after me? What was it? Who knows? It's best we keep it that way. Okay, let's head on over here then. Let's interact with my little troller or whatever it is. Boom! Shite! I need two more! Fudging balls! Okay, right, let's just look around into base, Stephen. Right, we'll go this way. Look, there's loads of rocks here. Surely there's got to be some stones. Yes! Look at that! Brilliant! Now we can finish building our giant rock pile. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom! Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom! Okay, right, I need to eat something. I don't know what it is I'm eating, because it looks like I might be eating a spade. Let's oh. eat it, then. I can't see my hands. There we go. Oh, Puck's reappeared. Hello, mate. Why are you here? Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate. Yeah. And know, this right? fay you have pleased. Sweet. You know what? I think it's better with my webcam on, so you can see my lovely majestic face and my reactions. There we are. Take a boom. Okay, now let's go back over to here then. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. The unending lure humankind so often succumbs to. Should you hear that siren call, hmm. 
You'll require unbraided cards and the power to play them. Unbraided cards. This just gets more and more complex. We've got portal cards and realm cards. Are they the same thing? I think they are. And now we've got unbraided cards. What the actual flying fudge are unbraided cards? Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sites of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by Fay, even longer still. Right now, okay. There are many sites, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarian. The Antiquarian. Suitable enough for one so green. Well, I was born under the moon of Aquarius. Hopefully, it doesn't mean what I think it means that you're trying to genocide everybody that is Aquarius. I hope not. You must first gain entry. Passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth, who claimed reverence for our infinite wisdom. They, more than most, knew the gravity of a contract. Hold on, I'm more worried about these nightmarish jibber-jabbers that are going to turn up at night time that you mentioned earlier, and the perils of night. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange hopeful spark within you. Nurture it with its own fundament, humanity. Be it comfort, companionship, coffer, I know not. Righto, neither do I. You know, I'm quite new to this. I was hoping you'd know more than me, but obviously not in that case. Once within, delve ever deeper toward the pedestal. Upon it lies the means to craft the card you require. Righto. So you don't know what's in this cave, but you know it's got a freaking pedestal in there where I can car carve some craft a freaking card. All right. That, that, that sounds dangerous. Why can't I just craft it right freaking here? Make a pedestal here. Build a card here. Why, why do I have to go in this evil place of unnaturalness? Hurry now, fleshling, and prepare. Oh, great. The infinite awaits. Oh, the infinite? Do you mean hell or heaven or something like that? I don't know. Oh, he's just going to click his fingers and sod off. Yeah, goodbye, Puck. All right. Okay, I can rename this. I don't know whether I want to yet. I don't know. I... It doesn't exactly look triumphant, does it? Right. Well, you know what? Um, yes, I could build a massive estate. Look at all this stuff that I could build. I could build all of this. You're quite right. Yes, I could. I want to just build a freaking stupid ass tent for now, just so I can live. There we go, stick tent. That's what I'm going for, because at least it's a it's a structure of some kind that I can bloody sleep in. All right, well, we're gonna stick my stick tent. This is just gonna be like where I build from, so I'm not overly I don't overly care if it's a little bit sort of like full of bull rushes and there's a bit of shit. We're going there, out of the way. Yes, we're going there. Yeah, auto add the stuff. There we go. Yeah, done it. Build it then. I've got all the bits. Do it. Yeah. Why is it not... Yeah, I want to build it. I don't know why it's not built. Oh, no, it's built now. Okay, cool. Right. Now all I need in here is um a bed. Why does it keep freaking closing down all the bloody menus? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, we go for a campfire. We'd have a campfire as well and place that. I'm going to put it inside here. I know that's probably not the best thing to do, but sod it. It keeps it a bit drier, doesn't it? Yeah, stick that there, right by that bush. Okay, get rid of that bush then. And yeah, ha ha! We've got a campfire as well now, people. So I can now sort of keep myself warm at night. And what else do I want? I want a bed roll resting. Yes, bedroll. Place. And uh, there we go. Uh, rotate that. Like that. And we're going to move it slightly closer to this campfire to keep myself a little bit warm, I guess. And there. There we go. Okay, there we are. We're done, people. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's me all sorted. Um, right, so uh, I don't think I've killed anything to, to
to warrant making some more food. Uh, there. And now we can venture out, I guess. Let's just go and interact with this then. Gear score. I've got to get my gear score up to 20. What's that all about? You see it? It's above my head right there. Gear score, 20. Oh, don't say I've got to... Oh, no. Okay. Apply. Um... Hopefully I can rename this. Steve's tent. There we go. Apply. I'm going to have to use my mouse, I guess. Boom. Did press enter. All right, well, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can rename it anyone, any time you want. So as soon as it's not a tent anymore, I can rename that, I suppose. But this is me. This is my humbled abode, people. Yes. We'll get that out of the way. Anyway. Okay, so it looks like I've got to get my gear score all the way up. And I guess the only way to do that is to build crafting benches. And then to upgrade pretty much everything I'm freaking wearing. And I guess then I can push on with the mission. I did not expect this, people. I did not expect this at all. Okay. Um, right, so crafting bench then, I guess. Uh, crafting and basic repairs. So what have we got under this menu? Simple tanning station. I, I don't really need a tan. I'm in the swamps. Oh, no. It's tanning of, like, levers. So I can make new cloths and stuff. So, yes, I'm probably going to need that. And a simple workbench. Well, I can make the tanning stations. So let's, we might as well get that in straight away. We'll put that inside my tent as well, I think. Either. It's saying to put it near to this. Okay, so maybe it's going to help having it near to my camping station, for whatever reason. No, uh, yeah, I want to. Uh, oh, for fudge's sake! Yeah. Put the items. Uh, select this. Uh, yeah. Oh God, this is really finicky. Definitely would be easier with the keyboard and mouse. I think. I don't know whether I've got anything I can tan on. Look at that. That is really fiddly. Animal fiber. Okay, so I can make. I can make felt, or I can make leather, and I can make straps. This is all good, but I don't know what my current gear is. Let's go into the old inventory. Inventory. I honestly do think this is, like, there's levels of complexity, okay? Now, Power World was just on bar for me after I changed a load of freaking sliders. Otherwise, I wouldn't have liked that, because I had to feed myself, I had to worry about bars. This is next level to that. I have no idea what's going on with all these poxy icons. Oh, here we go. Look, I can hover over them. And look, I've fixed all the icons now. So if that happens to you, bring up your inventory and hover over them. It fixes them. Great. Not that you should have to do that. That's freaking broken as fudge. Okay, right. So the hat, what is it made out of? Is it made out of leather? It doesn't actually tell me what it's actually made out of. So I don't know whether I need to create felt for that. Okay. I don't have... Oh, I don't have a hat equipped. So why show a bloody... Oh, God. Right, okay, here we go. Let's go on to here. Repair. I, I don't want to repair it. I want to know what the upgrade is. Yeah, I would expect to see upgrade on that menu. That's that's the thing that you would expect to see. If I've got to gear up my level of all my stuff, that's what I'd expect to see there is an upgrade. Hit it and it tells me what I need. Lever, felt, whatever. It doesn't say shite. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. The way that you expect things to happen from other games, this is not other games. This is its own thing where you've got to learn everything all over again from scratch. And that's why I'm not really, I'm not really liking it because of that, because of its complexity level. It's just too many levels of complexity up for me. This is like having a second bloody job and a job that doesn't come with an instruction manual. It just says increase your gear score and it doesn't tell you how you go about that. Unlock the ac Aquarian site of power. Then you just got gear score. All right. Okay. Well, we might as well get the crafting bench in as well, mightn't we? Okay. So here we go. Crafting bench, and I need a load of wood bundles for this. All right. And again, it's saying that it's, it's best to be near to this campfire. I can put it round the back of it. I don't want it in the wet. Wet though. Why is it not rotating? Ah! Damn it. There we go. And I'll put it there. Right, go over to it. Just tap. Right, so I need wood bundles. We're going to look for some wood bundles, people in reverse. Let's go find some wood bundles. 
Now, we've got sticks. I don't think that quite counts. So if I use my axe, and that's the wrong one, of course it is. I keep doing that. And it almost feels like they're back to front. Hiya! Take this, tree! Yes. I don't want to hit a tree too near to my tent. Oh, fudge! It's going to fall. Which way is it falling? I don't want it to fall on me. There we go. Wood bundles! There we go. I know where to get wood bundles. That that bit was fairly intuitive. Hit a freaking tree. Yep, that is the same as other games. This whole gear school stuff. I've not got a bloody clue, mate. I've not got a bloody... Hold on, why has my gear score just gone up from 3 to 6? Does just putting stuff inside my base count as gear score? How does that freaking work, then? You see, it needs... Oh, hold on. It's done something, people. Building traits. There are both positive and negative implications to traits. A few things to look for. Environmental traits. Grit, exposure, which apply to the location the structure is placed. Now, I've had to put everything underneath this makeshift tent because it's raining, because it's in a swamp. Maybe I should have chose forest biome. I might have had an easier start, to be honest. Okay. Benches are exposed to built-in areas where they're not sheltered. Hell, well, I, I kind of just figured I'd do that. Yeah, warmth. Yeah, put it all in here. Lovely. Okay. There's so much reading to happen inside of this. But look. It's moved on a stage. It says return to Puck. Well, if I would have just focused on gear score, trying to get that 6 to a 20, I would have been here forever and a day. There was nothing that said, make a crafting bench, make a tanning station. That was just sheer freaking happen chance, people. All right. Where the fudge is Puck, then? Puck, where the fudge are you, you little elfy shite? I hear him. There he is. Hello. How far you've come, yeah. and yet how little you possess. No help to you. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? No. It seems more apt that thou merely remain blind. To all that could be thine. Mate, I just built a freaking tent. I wouldn't exactly call this, you know, a homely presentation, mate. Across these wilds, your kind have proliferated with oh, haste. What's that popped up? Industrious and more than willing to avail amidst your <laughs> ever growing need. Get it on! Indulge their hunger for essence, and they will indulge your want for new and novel constructions. Well, thanks to that pop-up window, I didn't pay much attention to what he had to bloody say, did I? Oh, this game's janky. And away he goes! Well, it is early access. It is early access. But from what I'm reading, the whole thing with the graphics, yeah? I've seen people on really high-end rigs. The rigs that I was hoping to buy and upgrade my PC to. I could have ended up spending like a grand or something. Or more. Just to find out that this game is not optimised too well because other people have been playing it and they've actually said, no, it, it, I'm running this on, on an awesome rig and it's terrible. So, there's that. Alright, well, um, I just ate some berries. I'm going to go and have a little rest because I think it says that I need to rest. Oh, there we go. You see the blue bar gone on? There we go. I'm now well rested. I could do with eating more. I don't know whether I've got any meat on me or anything like that. Have I got any uncooked meat on my person? Have I killed anything recently? Oh, I've got a load of uncooked meat. Okay, cool, right. So let's just go into there then. And yeah, we would add in... I don't really go... I just want to make a fire, you know? And ignite. Yeah, go on then. Ignite. Hey. That's going to give me 12 minutes to cook all my food. And I want to make... Roasted meat, please? Right, now I want to make multiples of roasted meat. Oh, it looks like I can only make one at a time, for whatever reason. Even though I know I've got loads of meat inside my person. So, here we go. We're going to hit A on that then. And look, it comes up with loads. I've got, I've got eight of them, yeah? So, if I select that, how do I now change the amount? Oh, there you go. There was the right trigger there. Okay, fine. All right, craft. I'm making eight of them. And it says one of eight there. So that's two of eight. Okay. All right. I'm getting used to this now. Oh, I say that. The next mechanic's probably going to box me, isn't it? 
There we go. Loads of roast meat. I just want to get these bars to the max and see how long they last for. How often do I have to blink and eat? I mean, if I ate a steak, okay, usually I have like what, maybe one meal a day, one main meal a day in real life. I'll just eat it. Mate, you've got it in your hand, right? Eat it. Oh no. It's the opposite side, of course it is, yeah. That makes perfect sense. And, uh, yeah, trying to rotate round so I can see if I'm actually eating something, yeah. There we go, that's working now. Let's just keep eating until that green bar hits the top. Go on. Have it, mate. There we go! Brilliant. Okay, and I'm all, you see, the, I've only just slept a little while ago, and the blue bar is still depleting. Okay, there we go, we're done there. Purchase the simple sewing bench from the essence trader. Where the fudge do I find an essence trader? And of course he's going to want essence, isn't he? I haven't, I haven't got no essence to use. All right, well, hopefully the essence trader is going to be on the map. No, that's a portal. Great. How do I zoom in? Okay, RT. I do not see any essence trader on the map. Hold on. Who's this? Is this an essence trader? Realms Transmuter. Well, that's not what I'm after either. Okay, so you see what I mean? It says I need to go find an essence trader. Then it doesn't make it overly clear where I might find an essence trader. You know, even if this up here gave the grid reference for the map of where the essence trader might be, or even if they said they're north from your location, or south from your location. I don't know. Hold for more options. Is there an essence trader on here? No. No, there is not. Okay. Well, um... I'm not just going to roam around aimlessly in this massive great big swamp looking for some essence trader. I'm not. Yeah, um, right. Let's get the knife in hand. We've got the knife in hand. I've got the burger in the other. Yeah, that's just how we go on an adventure around here, people. Yeah, I have no idea what I should do or which direction I should head in to find this essence trader. Are they going to come to me? I mean, they want business after all, don't they? And I'm the only person freaking here. You'd think they'd be looking for me more than I'm looking for them. Yeah, I don't know, mate. It, it just doesn't... This feels weird. Why the heck do I craft a freaking bench in here? Hold on. Do I craft that bench? Uh, I don't think so. Craft knives. On. Simple climbing pack, hunting knife, simple mining pack, blah, 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 blah. Simple wood axe. I mean, these look a lot better than mine. Um, why can't I craft these right now? I need straps and wood bundle. Okay, straps. Fine. But it, that's not what I've got to do. I've got to do this. Purchase a simple sewing bench from the essence trader. And then it doesn't tell me how I find the essence trader. Um, hold on. Is there quests up here? There's challenges. There's journal. Oh, fudge sake! Okay, journal. The essence of survival. Here we go. A simple sewing bench is unlocked through the essence trader in your abeyance realm. While I was preoccupied, Puck reminded me to seek out those that stranded in the realms that may be willing to trade knowledge for essence. Yes, track. Okay, I'm tracking that now then. Now that I'm tracking it, has it given me a marker on my map at the top of the screen? Nope, that's my base that it's pointing me to. And then it's pointing me to sod all else. Okay, well now that I've selected that, is it on the map? No. No, that would be too easy, Steve. Because that's how other games... Hold on. What's this? Six million freaking miles away. Sight of power. Essence Trader. He's all the way down here. Oh, you're having a freaking giraffe. I've got to go all that way. Okay, right. I am pressing um, R. Oh, there we go. And we're going to stick a little hat there. All right. Let's go. Why we're, like, fully rested. Why we've still got a burger in hand. Okay, we're going this way. We're off on a journey. I guess we are. This is going to take me a week. Alright. Oh, what's this glowing mess over there? What's that? 
Let's go over there. Let's see what this glowing mess is. Oh, I don't want disease! Why am I getting disease? I don't want disease! Get out! Oh, it looks like we're too late. We've got disease anyway. Sod it then. I'm going to have the disease. What is this? Why was there a load of wood in the waterfall? Right, get out of there then. Oh my days. So, walking knee deep in water gives you a disease. Fantastic. I definitely chose the wrong realm, people. I should have gone for forest. This sucks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this way then. Oh, what's that? That looks cool. Oh, okay. Um, pickaxe? Yes. It says I need level 40 or something. It's, it's immune. Okay, right, so I can't have that type of rock yet because this pickaxe isn't good enough. What about this rock? No, need level 10. All right, fine. It looks like I'm going to have to build better, get better gear anyway. Just jump everywhere so we don't get diseased. Right, run like the wind. Okay, we're only 800 metres now. It's a freaking mile to this bloody essence trader. Oh, yeah, you want some? Freaking pick action to death. Oh no, there's a whole freaking herd of them. Right. Yeah. Wow! What I don't like about this as well is you kill all these guys, yeah, and they despawn so bloody quick. And when there's a pack of them, oh, like this, where I might have wanted to, to harvest a few of them to get their meat, their bodies go. So the whole exercise of killing the little shites. Oh, for fudge's sake. Give me the knife. Yeah. Oh, have I scared him off with my torch? Take that, you! Oh, for fudge's sake. I keep pressing the wrong one because it makes no sense that your right hand and your left hand are reversed on this bar at the bottom here. Yeah, right. Let's, um, let's eat that then, I guess. Mm, that button? Yeah. Oh, shite. I can't see shite because of all the trees. Look. I, look, I can't, I can't see the bodies that I just killed because of all the freaking trees. I should have gone for forest. This is shite. Okay, right. Let's just go this way then. Uh, I think all the bodies despawned anyway. I mean, I couldn't see the bodies because of all the willow trees. All right. So, this game for me is overly complex and overly demanding on hardware because it hasn't been optimised enough. I just don't think it was truly at the point where it was ready to go out to the world. Even though I was part of the beta, we've done quite a lot of feedback. I mean, I did feedback all my qualms and concerns of it. Well, I honestly thought, like, you know, all the sort of optimization and stuff would just come on naturally anyway. And I know my PC isn't the best PC in the world. And I also knew that they were upgrading to another version of Unreal at the time. And I just figured the fidelity and the optimization would come through the engine rather than through the development team. But look at the distance draw. Maybe that's part of the problem. I mean, it's rendering freaking everything, isn't it? Maybe it needs to do it in a certain sort of parameter. I don't know. I'm, I'm no developer. Now, these realms are all procedurally generated, and as much as I do love procedural generation, and as, as much as I love all these sort of, um, you know, the points of interest that I can see on the horizon there, I don't overly feel like I overly want to explore, mainly because every time I try to, I know that I'm starting to succumb to disease. It just seems like the exploration has been greatly put into second place on this title. It is beautiful, though when it's running smoothly. And at the moment, I'm on like about two frames per second. Come on. Run like the wind. 
Oh, sod it. I don't care if I get diseased. I don't care if I get wet anymore. I'm past caring. I just want to get there. Learn how to make a bench. I'm probably going to get all the, all the way there. And they're going to say, oh, you haven't got enough essence. And then I'm probably going to have to go all the way back to craft a load of stuff at my crafting bench to make essence and then come all the way here. Because I don't not know how much an essence bench is going to... Well, this bench is going to cost me. And it's not like we can fast travel there, is it? I don't know. How to play. Aid fellow survivors. Okay. Right, well, I've made it here. i made it to the hat icon anyway. That I put down conveniently to mark this area. So there's got to be around here somewhere. There we go. Essence trader. The company Netty. Ooh, what the fudge is that all about? Hello. Oh, sorry. Speak with Netty. Indeed, let us begin. What's this? Group activity. One to six players. Aid fellow survivors. A survivor nearby needs your aid in completing the structure. Help them completing the structure for a reward. Oh, go on then, Netty. What do you need? Go on. Where's your structure, then, Netty? I don't see your structure anywhere. Okay. Well, um, it hasn't moved on this. So, obviously not a, a main quest or anything like that. Sodger then, Netty. Okay, um, I guess this is it up here, maybe. Hello. What do you need? Oh, it's not voice acted, either. I do her voice. So, her name is Wilhelm Sassy. So, she needs the right sassy voice. I'm not doing a sassy voice, actually. And it's just... Oh, visitor! You're the only fine soul we've happened upon in this realm. And your appearance is most welcome. Surprise! Who you might be? Okay. I'm, 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 I really got that wrong, didn't I? Okay. I'm a refugee. You're speaking with a realm roarder extraordinaire. I'm not in the habit of divulging such information to a stranger. I'm a refugee of calamity, new to these realms and trying to survive. That'd do me. Quite refreshing to meet such an open book, surely filled with tales worth telling. There's a great many new faces in the realms as of late, with great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is by trade, you see. Yeah, brilliant. I've had enough of doing voices now, I mean, I just read it. Yeah. Okay. Wilhelm Sasser Communist or Nightingale's finest paper, the Sunday Courier, overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Okay. Now, if you're in need of more materials, services, nourishment and equipment, protections, and certainly my companions here can provide, we're always time for a new customer. You mentioned protection. Oh, God. I, I don't care. I don't care. All right. Okay, let's head on over here. Uh, what's this then? There you go. Have that. Have that. Oh, my God. Have I got to build all this for them? Okay. Hello, Nathan. I want to buy... What? what what's my cursor doing all the way over there? I can't, I can't actually get up there. Look. I can't. I can't move around. I'm going to have to use the mouse. Simple mule, simple hammer. No. Um, building crude. Root roofs. Crafting refinement. What am I after again? Oh, now the freaking mission mark has vanished when I needed it. Crafting and basic repair. I didn't think you'd have so much bloody stuff. Simple sewing bench. Was that it? Not enough essence dust. You need 55 essence dust for that, Steve. 55. What are you having? Frickin' Jeffrey! Okay. Going to crafting then. Wrong button! Crafting. Um, right. So if I make... A load of them. How can I make those? So craft that. Now I haven't got enough hide. So the only thing I can do... You know what, people? I, I, I honestly don't... I'm not feeling this. I'm not. I'm not feeling it at all, to be honest, people. As much as I do want to, because I love the visuals, when it's not like at two frames per second. And as, I, I like the ambience, but it's just it's all this crafting. I, I, it's just too much for me. It is. I, I'm not enjoying it. So you know what? I'm, I'm not going to play it any longer. 
Um, it, it's just not for me. And I, as much as I want it to be for me, it's it, it's not for me. So I'm just going to quit out. There we go. And we quit to desktop, people. And having that it wasn't all voice acted, and I'm I'm not the best reader at the best of times, people. Um, I am I being too harsh? There you go. Now it's more in keeping. Anyway, people. I don't know. Nightingale for me. In my last episode, I, I said that it was probably worth the monies that I spent on it. You know, they, to be fair, I got given a key for free because I helped with all the beta testing. And I do plan to jump back in and retest this on each update and start a new game. The next time I start a new game, I will start in the forest biome. And maybe I might start enjoying it a little bit more, not getting diseased running across the landscape. And now that I know to get my freaking essence before I go to the essence trader, it was, the clue was in the freaking word, wasn't it, to be fair? But, you know, I, I kind of thought that's what would happen. But it's this that learning curve. You learn by your mistakes. But then your mistakes make you have to go and revisit everything all over again. You're like, oh, my God. The tutorial just doesn't feel like... Maybe it shouldn't hold your hand. I mean, I loved Elden Ring because it didn't hold your hand. But with Elden Ring, you learn from your mistake and you felt like you was progressing. You was going up levels. You was... This, no. And the fact that you're not going up in experience points through killing and slaying stuff. You're going up levels because of your gear rating. And your gear rating is affected by crafting. Everything seems to hinge around crafting and survival. Crafting and survival, crafting and survival. The things I like are exploration. I like exploring. It'd be nice if you could find tre chests with some of this gear in. You know, there's been loads of other realm walkers that have probably come to their freaking bitter end. Maybe you could find their encampment. Maybe find their gear and gear up that way. The whole fact that you've got to craft, you've got to go through all the survival stuff. No, it's not for me. Not for me. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. I think there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to love this and are going to love the survival and crafting aspects because that's their type of game. This is not my type of game. It doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just not my type of game. It's like, you know, I might like Destiny or I might like No Man's Sky. There's a lot of people out there that hate Destiny and really don't like No Man's Sky. You know, and I'll be like, oh, each to their own. This is not my own. This is not this is not the game that I hoped it to be. From the trailers, when you see all the action and all the giant sort of megafauna and all that sort of stuff, the jumping through portals, crafting realm cards, going to different portals, it looks like to do all that lovely stuff, you've got to toil away and have a second job in a game to get to that stage. And I just, I, I don't want to put in the effort. And call me lazy. But no, I've, I've got other games I can pick up and play and I can get in and do all the stuff that I want to do, all the exploration, lovely stuff. This, even though I'm inside of a swamp realm right now and I'm, I'm, I'm dre I am I'm I'm don't like the swamp realm, I made a bad choice. If for me to go to a forest realm, I don't know how I get another abeyance card. I don't know how I undo that. It's just start a new game. And I don't know whether I want to now. You know, anyway, I think what I will do, though, is pick up and start a new game the next time they put out a massive swathe of patches and updates, do some optimization, and we'll benchmark it on my PC under these settings. You saw how it run this time. It looked a little nicer. It lost a few frames. We'll see if we gain a few frames the next time they put out some sort of optimization update. I'm not going to take it away from my channel. I was lucky enough to get a free key. The least I can do is jump in and test it every single time that there's a massive update. And I'll cover off the news for this game because it still excites me. I still think this has got a lot of potential, especially if they do add in some sort of sandbox mode where you can adjust different sliders and make it so it's not so survival heavy or make it so it's not so crafting heavy. If I could make it so maybe the crafting resources are like a quarter of the amount they are right now, and it moved a bit quicker. Maybe I might be more in line with actually picking up and playing it then. And maybe if the essence, you could reduce the cost of that. It was like I needed 55 essences to um, you know, get that bench. Which means I've got to make a load of like basic crafting materials. Then break them down to get the essence. It'd be nice if you get essence other ways as well. There probably is. There's probably people right now typing. You can get essence by doing X, Y, Z. I'm actually learning more about this game from my comments section than from the tutorials in the game. Okay? Work that one out. That's part of its complexity, I suppose. And that's probably part of why I want to put this game title down. It could be that I'm under the weather as well. You know, I'm not feeling 100% optimal right now. And a game that's not really that intuitive 
probably isn't the best game to pick up while I'm not feeling 100% optimal. I'm making excuses now. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I need to. I, I think you can probably tell from my frustration from playing it that I'm not enjoying it. And games are here to enjoy, not to frustrate the shy towns of people. And as much as this game looks like it might be a relaxing jaunt at times, with moments of chaos from the trailers, it just seems to be frustrating because of the controls and because of how janky it is. Uh, I th there was a couple of menus where, where I had to swap to mouse just to make it a bit easier. It shouldn't be the case. Anyway, salute to Monday, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.